Oh, if we're going to be together again, I, I titled this message, Build Up Faith. You see, this time of the year, it's not good for anyone right now because of sorrows, temptations, sympathy, all kinds of terrible things just being happening to us and to us all. But one thing I do know, one of the worst things that we are doing with now is a right for you to stand up for your own for your own beliefs and have a right to to say what you want to say and end up expressing it without causing somebody to get to get offended. Nowadays, it's really hard to speak up and speak out. But what's even worse than that? If time something goes on and something that you don't like is actually impossible to hold it to yourself. We as Christians, we see all kinds of things happening and we don't like it. But we see all kinds of equally plans that has been made. But that's only one sign of the last days that is coming. But I'm here to speak about build how we how can we can build up our faith. Build up build up faith. How can we build up our faith? Take a look with me into Hebrews chapter 11. It says here, it says, it says here, it says, it says now, it says, it says, now, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of, evidence of things not seen, for it. For by, for, for by, for by is the elders obtain good report. Through faith, we understand that these worlds were formed by the word of God. So, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear by faith. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than corn, by which he obtained witness, witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because because, because God had translated him for before his translation. He had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a real and we that he is a real of them that desperately seek him. By faith Noah being warned of God, of things not seen, yes, yet moved, yes, yet moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving 
of his house. By which he committed the world and become heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place where he should after received for an inheritance, obeyed and went out, not knowing whether he will, he went. By faith he so soon in the land of promise, as in a strange country, doing in miracles with Isaac and Jacob, the, the heirs with him of the same promise. For, for he looked for a city with he with half possessions of possessions of whose border a maker is God. Stop right there. There's a whole lot more here about faith. And more likely, just many people that have faith in God. There's many people that have faith. I end up being brave. I have forefathers. Have faith in God. They see the promise of this nation to become the United States of America. They have a dream to live. They end up making this nation. And they have a dream that we all become free. But at the time, we were not free. We, we were surrounded by which empires, by other governments. For yet we don't even know how to build a nation. Same deal with Abraham. He don't know how to build a nation. But he followed God's plan. Same way our forefathers did. They followed God's plan and look. And look now. Here we are in the United States of America. The nation is filled with goodness. But now we are not measured by our Christian values anymore. Our nation is sipping. Israel. Same thing with Father Abraham. Father Abraham becomes the father of the become a father of all nations. Of far and near. But but he but he's a father of Israel. With Jacob eh? with Isaac and Jacob. And they have their palms to even have a nation themselves. What about, you see, they got a nation, but they don't have a place. They keep on being in captivity for a while. Like slaves. They were like that for a while. Same way with the United States, we. We will be in captivity ourselves before we even had a nation that we know is good to work with. You probably wonder how this nation got started. It started by just Watson, our forefathers. For, for yet they were left more than slaves themselves of a now government from England, 
I could see all things. Wait a minute, the word serrates is a physics. Don't use that word. Make no difference. Make no difference if I say it or not. For yes, if you will have us been there. Just watch him be there. I hold out history based on safely. All the Bible will say if we happened. So why is it bother us now? Why we think safely is is something horrible. The thing is, if you got faith, that you can make a difference. You know the saying in the Bible: if you got faith like a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. That happened. You see how it happened? This nation, for well, yes, we were nothing. We, we the half a nation at first. We just pilgrims in a strange land. Same thing with Israel. Pilgrims of a strange land. And they build something up great. All because they bought the plan that is set up. All because the pilgrims that came over here, they got sister, they got faith to even tell the tell it tell the kings no, we will not worship the the gods, and all of a sudden they found God enough. Instead of staying there, be mocked and be killed, they do something about it. They don't know what's going on over here in this land. All they have to do is just hop on this boat, got a Mayflower, and they sail the way over here. Don't know about the dangers. Don't know about what's going on, but they keep sailing. They keep on going through. Before you know, they strike land. They strike. They saw this land. I feel like that's the judgment we want. But we're able to set up our own place and a place for us to worship God to heaven. And they did. They ended up. They. They end up, they end up coming over here. They say, "What's with God?" All the trouble things is rising upon them. Natives is there, waiting to kill them. And what will be going by harm? With Venus, when God into the picture, He will be faithful. And, and he will be faithful till the till the end. How can we know what God has done for us? They say what He done for our forefathers. They say what He done for the pilgrims. See, the, when when the pilgrims landed, a Plymouth a Plymouth Rock. They got such the faith to stay here. But man, what a wonderful thing, right? They build the faith so well, they build buildings, they do all kinds of things and what's been God and native and before you know it, the time will come where the natives come over. I said, hey, King, that this could be the end. But the thing is, the faith have inspired the natives. And they want to live in peace, and they end up making peace. They, 
the natives did not teach them how to fish, how to, how to grow vegetables, and how to hunt. Oh. And before you know it, uh, that three day just come, that three day that we are now called Thanksgiving is a day, it's a day when they had the feast all because of the blessings they had on the Sunday. They end up, they end up having something that they are so thankful they have this opportunity. To have this feast, and this feast is by is by them with strangers from all of them. They don't know no, but they don't even know no one over here. They don't even know the natives, but they, but all they know, they come in peace. Wow, amazement! And over time, over time. We start to grow if possible. We we spread ourselves. As this Watson came and he got faith to start this nation to start this nation from nothing he do something. He say no to the British. Then we got enough of their civil lifestyles. And he be the first one to lead the war of reparation. The reparation war. The place where we end up getting freedom from that government. From years and years of listening to that government. It's now. From now we, for we are outlaws. We disturb them. We fight for, we fought, and we fought years by years, and we found the Curtis Nation be ours in 1776. As we host Mars at home, we we won the battle. We decided to have four around the world, and we got. Freedom. Freedom started when promised there's no government. There's no rules for us to live by. There's no police officers, no nothing. And that's how, uh, so in that case, Ms. Watson helped us to start it, start it out. Start a government by starting with people of a signed field of the Constitution of the United States and the Declaration of Independence. And since Washington's only one of them, but they all but they all be brave enough to uh, be an Indian attempt. They started this nation from scratch. And they make something out of it. They probably have their own kinds of boys and sneeze. They, they have all kinds of boys. Back then, my thing is, what's so amazing? You know, they got faith and we started this nation. That kind of, that word faith ended up moving mountain. Move a mountain, boom! The United States of America is formed. Wow! And from years and years of what's been God and everything, we end up making a great nation. <coughs> oh, of course, there's a lot of other problems too. We don't know how to be a great nation, but of course. Of course, we have to use people. We have to um, slaves. We have to have slaves 
too easy to build homes, build places ourselves. With that is a tough, that was a bad thing to do because for the enemy we were slaves. They were slaves. But over time, things become impossible we and grow. Are things too far, are things too Abraham Lincoln that lead that lead the war to freedom of slaves. We got rid of those slaves, and finally, the slaves will become free. Although it's many more years before they become free, but but thanks to Martin. But all things to Dr. Martin Luther King Sr. Give a famous speech, says, a famous speech says, I have a dream speech. That speech saved a lot of people. Just imagine how they feel today of hearing that same speech. And they still hear it today in their own minds. Thank God Almighty, we are, we are, we are free, we are free, we are free. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Wow, that's a great way to end, right? Great way to end the speech, that the world's free at last. And then become free. But many more years went past. For yet we are not free. Because we still have palms and palms and palms on one way. Nine weapon begin to have nine nine weapon to just one. And we still have palms today. But it's hard to but the real idea of freedom is all because of faith. The, the idea of freedom is faith. So how can we build? So how can we make America great again? Build, build up faith. Build up faith. It's easy. If you build up your faith, with all these sn snails, preparations, temptations, trials, your sorrows, your worries, if you use all that deceitful things that have happened over your life, <coughs> you are building your faith day in and day out. All the people are missing. And there's many more that I did not even, even mention. That faith is a substance. That it's what this faith is a substance. It's so much. You see, God suffered that God sent His Son on His own to suffer and die for your sin. That's where your true freedom comes in, right? Your freedom begins. When he suffered and died on the cross for your sin. Man, people don't want to see that. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear the truth that you are a sinner, right? Nobody wants to hear the truth that you are a sinner. You need to repent. Nobody needs, nobody wants to hear it, but they got to hear it. The only way to build the faith in their lives. Of eternal life is by God. God is the eternal life. God is the, the way your life truth that no man can enter his own kingdom without going through him first. <coughs> See Bill Graham and many other Christians. At first they at first they don't believe, but they end up believing. Because they got faith into something for their faith. 
because they got they dead. They cannot see. <coughs> because they see for the small things. Now faith is it is the substance of things hoped for, the essence of things not seen. This mass. How can a father able him? The promise of this nation have a promise of a nation called Israel. And he never seen Israel. He never seen how Israel is now. But he but he got his hopes filled by faith. That it gonna be a good promised land of his own. Wow. And see, he says here that no, did not even see a flood before. He never sees rain. He never see flood waters. He never see a flood. But he got faith enough to save him and his family. Yeah, he got faith. Because God told him to build his boat. Which is an ark. Big, big boat. Ooh. He built that boat. He saved his family from the flood. He, he saved every animal, two of his kind. All of that boat be really smelly too, right? He cleans cooks. He saved every animal. He saved his family from a nasty ordeal. A trouble out deal that will end mankind forever. But he got faith. The same. But he got faith. To save his family from dying. You see, the Bible says in Romans 6 12, 3, for the races of sin is death, but to the gifts of God is eternal life. Jesus Christ, our Lord. You see, I need to end, but I want to point out to you that faith can move mountains. If you got enough faith, it can grow. It can save lives. If you got cancer, it's just that if you have cancer and you believe in, in your heart that God can heal you, guess what? You got faith from knowing that you can be healed from that cancer. May not be right away, but you got faith that God can heal. Same thing with ears, same thing with your heart. If you got a heart attack and you are dying on spot, and you got faith, oh yeah. You got faith that you can live through this. Oh. That you have to hope that God can save you. Only, only if it, only if it's in His will. Lazarus was, Lazarus was there for four days, but the faith of Mary and. And her sister, the favor of Mary and her sister, the favor of Mary and her sister. God, it's just enough faith to let Jesus know what's going on, and in the. God lost with from the dead and live with them again. Wow. In in life. The same the same life that the apostles, the disciples have lived. Many of them died within years. But many of them have faith and hope that they can live. To tell the world 
And they did. They fulfilled the task. But only one person that did not die. Apostle Song, he did not die when he supposed to be dead. But it's that creature. <clears throat> because of his faith. That his time is not yet come. His time is not yet in heaven. It'll be his time to walk in our book. And our book. It speaks to us now that the last day is coming. And it's coming quickly. And that book is called Revelation. He speaks to us about where we'll be coming in the first. And that's where we are living in now. We are living in the book of Revelation. The end times is near. It's up to you to have that kind of faith. All you have to do is just believe in God. Admit that you are a sinner. And then repent of your sin. That's all, I, that's all I'll be asking of you. 